I'm going to show you a really simple and utterly delicious recipe from my brand new cookbook, Five Ingredients Mediterranean. Really nice roasted duck with grapes, cloves, caramelized onions and rosemary. Five ingredients working really, really hard. Let's do this. So, duck. First up, go to your butcher. When you buy a duck, nearly always you'll get giblets. So giblets is what makes most people go, Ugh, but let me explain. Giblets are the kidneys, uh, the heart, the liver, and they're gonna give you amazing flavor. Of course, you don't have to use them, but I'm gonna show you how you can use them because it equals deliciousness and flavor. Let's get the neck. We're gonna put that into the roasting tray like that. I wanna flavor this duck with simple but delicious flavorings. First up, the meat in here is very lean, and then it's covered in this incredible fat, but we're gonna roast it to render it out. And you're not gonna eat that rendered fat, you're gonna use it for months to come. So what we're gonna do is add a little olive oil, right? I want to get this all around the duck so we can make beautiful seasoning cling to the duck. So you want a tablespoon of ground cloves, and then you want a nice teaspoon of sea salt, and also a nice teaspoon of black pepper. Get that seasoning rubbed everywhere. And on the inside, check there's no giblets inside there. And actually I'm gonna take some rosemary and just crumple it up and get that in here as well. So that steams nicely as it cooks. So let's put that to one side and I'm just gonna quarter these onions and these will create the trivet. And that's gonna help you make the most incredible sauce. So. That sits on our trivet. As that roasts, all the drippings and the fat will go into the onions. The onions will sweeten and kind of start almost jamifying in the most delicious way. That will be preparation for the most beautiful gravy or sauce ever. All I do is just put a few splashes of water in there, just like that, uh, just to encourage a little bit of humidity and soften those onions. So an hour and a half, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. I'll baste that about halfway through, you know, just angle the fat and just spoon it back over the bird and it's gonna be amazing. So look, I'll have a little clean down and then I'll show you what to do next. While that's cooking, please click the like button and give us some love and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and remember to turn on that notification bell so you know what's happening. Now, back to the recipe. So the duck's had an hour and a half. It smells incredible in here and it's sizzling away. Have a little look at that. Just beautiful. Just angle the pan and you see that lovely fat that's rendered out. Can you see how much there is? So we can give the bird a nice little baste like that. Get yourself a little jam jar, okay? And pour some of that excess fat into the jam jar. And the next time you go to, you know, roast a chicken or start a stew or start a risotto or even roast a piece of fish, use duck fat. As soon as you put the lid on here and pop that in the fridge, it will go white. It will go like solid and it will keep for months and months and months. It's a little gift. Don't forget that. Now for the surprise and I think almost genius ingredient, 500 grams of grapes, green, black, red, a mixture. It doesn't matter. Just pull them off. They are seedless and they are going to be roasted for half an hour, right? So this duck finishes off and they're going to go sweet and sour and gorgeous. So I'm just gonna toss it in all these beautiful juices. Give it a nice little shake. Look at the colors, so autumnal. So the duck back on top. And we're gonna go back in the oven, same temperature for half an hour. So the duck has had its two hours sizzling away. Look at that, just beautiful. So, let's get on with business. First up, what we wanna do is let the duck rest. I'm gonna take some of the best of the grapes and just pop it around. We've got onions in here, like the little inner soft parts, you can take those out, and then the kind of cooked caramelized bits, they're gonna really help contribute to your amazing gravy. Look at that. So once you've just taken a few grapes and popped it around, and they're amazing, when you have some roasted meat with some of those grapes, it really is very, very special. So let that rest over here. Let's put the heat here onto a medium heat. And I'm gonna to go to the neck here, and I'm just gonna break it up. Now, if you look at the bottom of the tray here, see this little sort of sticky bit here? That is flavor and color. Use a little potato masher, 
to start mushing up the onions and the grapes, the flavour will be immense. Add about 500 mils of water. Don't really need stock because all the flavour's in there. So just bring that to the boil. Let it simmer for like 10, 15 minutes if you like. Now, here, these are the giblets. So when you get the giblets, these are things like heart, liver, kidneys. Um, we've got the liver here. Finely chop it. And if you ever come across any little bits of sinew or anything you don't like the look of, you can just literally cut it out and remove it. Now we're going to fry off this offal. Let's use some of the duck fat. Uh, we'll put a couple of tablespoons. What I'm going to do is create some crispy little snappy bits of rosemary. There's something really magical that happens when fat gently fries woody herbs like rosemary in this case and they become incredibly edible and delicious and sort of crispy and gorgeous. So once it's had about 40 seconds you can pop it on a plate like this if you want to be spot on just a tiny pinch of salt while it's hot. Then we're going to come over with our offal. Give it a nice little toss around like that. Look at that. Can you see it change colour? Season this with salt and pepper. And that's pretty much done already. But what we're going to do at this stage, which is interesting, is I'm going to take our lovely gravy and I'm going to pour it into our coarse sieve. And we're going to turn this into a nice rustic sauce. This will be like a gravy you've never had before. So use that ladle to really push the grape and the onion through the coarse sieve. So if you look at the bottom of the sieve here, you can see all that onion juice and grape juice. That's going to thicken your gravy. The smells are amazing. So you can reduce this now to a consistency that you like. Have a little taste. Don't burn yourself. Oh, very comforting. Deep flavours. I'm just going to turn it down to a low simmer. I'll have a quick clean down, then I'm going to show you how to carve and break down the duck. It's going to be amazing. So look, here we have the duck, nicely rested. We have sauce, some roasted potatoes, veggies. Let's just kind of get into breaking down the duck. It's now still warm, but easy enough to handle. I'm going to take the little wing off like that and just pull it off so we have the lovely wing like that. People love the wings. Then it comes onto the leg and then just use that bone and that meat will just pull away. Look how tender that is. So it's almost comfy-like. We'll do the same on the other side. Then it comes to the breast. I simply get the knife run it down the spine and just take it to the bone. So look, there's the breast meat. Just use the tip of the knife to pull that breast off the bone. And then any extra bits of meat that you can use your hands to get, this is your opportunity. The best bit as well, believe it or not, is this leftover carcass. Like this in a pan to make a lovely broth. I love that. So we'll put that over here. And then we've got all our little bits of grapes and onions and any little drippings here. So look, all the little juices and drippings come off. So look, let's plate up once I've washed my hands. So look, there's our beautiful duck. So let's start off with a little bit of that thigh meat here. Here with the breast, what we can do is just slice that through its crispy skin. Just beautiful. And let's just have a couple of nice roasted potatoes. Let's get some nice steamed seasonal greens. And then don't forget, we've got our lovely crispy bits of rosemary. And some of our little sweet onions and our grapes. Look at the colors, guys. But then we've got this gravy. And that over the duck is just to die for. Just look at that. That is a beautiful thing. Something a bit different. I think if you've never cooked duck before, this is a safe recipe. And that amazing sauce is just a win-win. Mm. Just deep, sweet, and slightly sour flavours from the gravy. The duck skin is crispy. It's delightful. It's got a nice little chew to it, but then the meat is tender. It's just falling apart. So next time you're thinking about doing something a little bit special for a special occasion, a dinner, it could be Thanksgiving, it could be Christmas, it could be Father's Day. Jules. Um, why not give this a try? And by the way, if you want a nice little five ingredient cookbook as well, then there you go. The recipe is in there and full of other beautiful recipes with five ingredients. So guys, lots of love, take care and happy cooking.